Hi everyone, hope you are all fine. This is Atik. Welcome to our YouTube channel Engineering Drive. If you are a student who have recently joined in an engineering college and if you want to purchase a laptop but you are in a confused state, which laptop is good for me sir at this education level? Okay, now my dear students, you came to the correct video. Here I am going to show you some important terminology. Keep this terminology in your brain, keep these points in your mind then based on this requirement you purchase a laptop. Surely this laptop will be helpful to you and it will come in a particular budget also which you can afford. Remember one point, best laptop doesn't mean that the laptop with high price. Remember this point, best laptop always doesn't mean that the laptop with high price. Best laptop means the laptop which suits your requirement. So, you are going to spend 4 years in BTEC. In these 4 years, the laptop should be useful to you. You should be in a position to do almost all types of programs. You should be in a position to run different types of applications in your laptop. Then we can say the laptop is the best laptop for you. So, how to choose the best laptop which is best for the students? Here I am going to point out some point. Here I am going to specify some points. So, go through these points and based on these points, you purchase your laptop. So, the first point that you should consider is the processor. Okay, what type of, pro what type of processor is minimum during this period of time now? So, that we can run and we can install basic to recommended type of applications. The answer is minimum you go for the i5 processor variant, minimum i5. Okay, and the starting generation should be fifth generation minimum at this time. So, these processor is in this processor easily you can run various types of applications without any problem. This is the first thing. And if you want, if you have more budget, sir, I want to go with i7, your choice. But the minimum level which is required at this stage is you can go with i5 variant. And the second thing you can look in the laptop is the capacity of the RAM. So, personally at this stage, I will recommend you minimum you go for 8 GB variant. Okay, minimum you go for 8 GB variant. Here also one point will come. If you can afford some thousands, if you can afford some thousands, my recommendation will be not only 8 GB, but my recommendation will be 16 GB. Okay, so here in the processor side, I won't encourage you to go with i7. I doesn't want you to make those lab purchase laptops of 80,000, 70,000, 90,000 rupees. Minimum i5 is more than enough here. But in case of RAM, my dear students, minimum I will recommend you 8 GB RAM in the laptop and recommended size which I personally like at present 16 GB. Sir, why sir? Because there are some branch in uh, there are some applications in some respective branches like CSE, Computer Science and Engineering, where we are having mobile application development lab. Okay, in those type of labs, what we can do, we need to have more RAM to run those Android Studio very smoothly. So, in those cases, we may require that extra RAM a bit. So, in those cases, 16 GB will be recommended. But minimum 8 GB is enough you can run. 90 to 95 percent of the applications and the third thing that i will specify here is the hard disk drive or solid state drive capacity so we know that in our older laptops you used to get only the hdd so minimum capacity that you need to have is one terabyte capacity or if you are planning to purchase a laptop with ssd then minimum you go for 512 GB. Okay, this is the third important point. Now, these three points are very, very crucial when you are purchasing your laptop, my dear students. And once these three points have been decided, extra things will come in that, like the battery life. Then we will come the size of the screen, screen size. At present, mostly we are getting the 14 inch screen laptops. Recommended, you can purchase it. Portability will be good. Okay, and along with these three, Personally, I will suggest one more thing to you that is the fourth point, connectivity. Connectivity in the sense, many laptops does not have HDMI port. 
okay if even hdmi port is not there what is the use of hdmi port why it is required sir for students you know when you enter in third year when you enter in final year you need to prepare some projects or you need to give seminars so when you want to give seminars compulsory you need to have the hdmi port to your laptop so that easily you can connect it to your projectors the projector of your college you can connect it and you can able to speak out the presentation without any problem so you at though in those situation you will not be dependent on others so carefully check out that port connectivity also whether it is having hdmi port or not whether it is having at least one usb port or not whether it is having type c ports or not or whether it is having wifi connectivity or not all these options are very simple but they play a very very important role so these are my suggestions to you once these four sessions are completed the extra things like the battery life and then the screen quality it depends on the amount you will kept to purchase the laptop so these by keeping this point in your brain now you go for the laptop of the brand in for which the service is available so it i can't give a perfect brand name now at present because depending on your loca location where you are staying okay which brand is popular at that place which brand is having good service take that particular brand and check out whether these features are available or not and then purchase the laptop so dear students still if you have any types of queries you can simply put it in the comment section with this let me close my today's session of video see you soon everyone take care allah